in this video, we're going to tell you exactly how you do this pop-up test like every freaking influencer on YouTube. So if you've been living under a rock now, you'll see a lot of these influencers have this sort of text pop-up style effect. Well, I'm going to show you the simplest and most easiest way where all you need to do is drag and drop this effect on any text layer and bam. There you go, you have your text pop-up effect. I'm gonna show you this within Adobe Premiere. So I'm gonna jump into Premiere and show you guys. So I'm gonna assume you have your sequence open and you have your file already. So what you wanna do is open up your essential graphics panel, click your text tool, and let's say the first three words you have to manually type in. So you're like, oh my God. And if you're wondering what text this is that everyone uses, is Comixa, Comica Axis, right? Making sure it's centered. And then you wanna add a stroke to it. So I'm gonna click that color picker and then increase the stroke i hold alt or command create your next text and then if you want to make these little clips smaller you, i just cut them some people you can drag them in right so copy this text right now so you're like okay that's cool and all but where's that pop-up effect text well i'm gonna show you the secret way that no one ever talks about is to create that pop-up text effect all i need to do is go into your effect panel put it in transform into your very first clip Next, what I want you to do is go down here, uncheck news composition, and drag your shutter angle all the way up to 360. Next, what I want you to do is hit scale and move one, two keyframes. Move that. Make sure your initial keyframe is zero. And the next keyframe is 100. Actually, let's make it 150 and then move one keyframe over 100. So it's going to go up and then down. As you can see, if you didn't catch it fast enough, I might be able to move these two keyframes over and there's that little pop-up effects. So all I did was I have the keyframe from scale to zero set up to 150 and then down a keyframe to 100. So if I play that again, and you're like, okay, that's cool. Do I have to do it for every single one? No, you do not. All you need to do now is go to that first text layer effect that you just created, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your transform tool, save preset, text pop-up. The next one you do is go to effect panel and you do your text pop-up graphic that you just saved as a preset. Drag and drop that onto your text. And now look. And if I wanted to move all my text layer to the bottom, like how these bigger influencers do it, you probably have to manually do it one by one, but nope, all I do is I just right click, nest, text layer, and then I move this entire text nested text layer down here. And that is the super easy pop-up text effect within Premiere Pro. You're welcome. And that, guys, that was exactly how you do this super easy pop-up style effect. And you don't need to do a bunch of keyframes or cut this and that. You do it once, you drag and drop, and now you have this pop-up effect on every single text that you ever wanted. And no, I'm not here to sell you the preset on how you do it. I just taught you how to do it. Go out and do it yourself. Go experiment, put this on TikTok, Instagram Reels, on YouTube videos, and now you can do whatever it is that you want. But reminder, copying someone is not gonna get you virality. You know, it's nice to take away certain things of creating text, but the minute that everyone else does it, it just becomes kind of overdone, kind of boring. You want to spice things up a bit. But that's how I would do the pop-up text effect. And if you want to learn more effects and getting super pro within Premiere Pro, link in the description below. Get one month free on Skillshare where you have access to all of my courses where I teach you After Effects and Premiere Pro within 30 minutes. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Video Collective where we all serve nothing. But you can always create something. Cheers, guys.